next is um, cyclobutanes in order to synthesize cyclobutanes um, commonly we use enone alkene cycloaddition type of reactions so this type of reactions are typically uh, 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reactions um, they are um, another version of 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reactions which follows a uh, woodward hoffman rules and i'm sure um, you might be familiar with that uh, woodward hoffman rule and uh, this enone alkene cycloaddition reaction involves um, enone and uh, an alkene as a basic substrates um, and even though we expect a photo excited uh, reaction mechanism uh, this uh, enone alkene cycloaddition reaction follows uh, uh, a discrete diradical intermediates um, in addition to that uh, photo excited uh, um, radicals so this type of uh, reactions got much popularity uh, since the discovery of uh, camphor uh, from its uh, corresponding enone carbon uh, after exposing uh, Italian sunlight for an year. Uh, so the detailed mechanism uh, was investigated since then and uh, the, the predicted mechanism of enone alkene cycloaddition involves uh, um, a photocyclization 2 plus 2 photocyclization reactions um, and in the beginning uh, initially the enone will be uh, photo excited to form uh, a singlet excited state and uh, as I mentioned earlier this type of uh, singlet uh, excited state will be very short-lived and uh, uh, they can decay uh, easily uh, by inresistant crossing uh, into triplet state or they can combine with any other uh, radical intermediates but in this case uh, what happened is this excited uh, singlet state is converted into a excited triplet state and at this point this excited uh, triplet state will be reacting with the uh, alkenes to form um, an exiplex and eventually uh, it will give a triplet uh, diradical and uh, later the spin inversion of this uh, triplet diradical will make a singlet diradicals and uh, it is easy for these uh, radicals to combine then and then the combination of these two radicals which will result uh, in the formation of a uh, cyclobutane ring or uh, cyclobutane compounds. The key aspect of uh, forming different type of uh, product isomers is that um, its a substituent's position and its nature of both uh, uh, enone and alkene. For example, if the carbonyl enone and uh, alkene have substituents of highest priority uh, are in proximal uh, style then the isomer formed will be head to head here you can see the first one suppose you can see that if these both of these substituents are of highest priority and they are in proximal then um, they, their combination will be in head to head style and uh, this type of isomer will be the product and in another case uh, this enone and uh, this uh, highest priority substituent are in distal uh, fashion then the isomer formed will be head to tail fashion so this kind of uh, or different type of isomers can be ex uh, expected and uh, the selectivity of uh, this type of uh, isomers uh, will depend upon these steric and electronic factors um, for example here in the second case you can see in the alkene there is a bulky group like a phenyl group which is attached with this uh, double bonded al uh, double bonded carbon and uh, uh, the steric interaction uh, will be a major factor uh, deciding the uh, isomer or, or the product formation um, especially in their excited state the polarity of enone is reversed so that the beta carbon possesses a partial negative charge here you can see in the case of enone um, when it goes to excited state these enone uh, polarity of these enone will be excited uh, sorry reversed just because of the presence of this uh, oxygen here so that you can see the beta position uh, carbon positioned carbon will be um, possessing a partial negative charge so that what happened is in the transition state or in the excited state uh, the 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 alkene part will tend to align itself 
uh, to the negative end of the dipole uh, point or the beta carbon so that what will happen is this beta carbon will be maximum away from the enone position or beta carbon of the enone this bulky group will be maximum away from the uh, beta positioned carbon so that will be the final product or the major product will be uh, uh, like that where the, the bulky group or the uh, steric hindering group uh, will be staying maximum away from the enone group So here is another example, uh, here you can see in order to attain the stability uh, just because of this uh, steric interaction between these uh, bulky groups like a methyl group and cyanide group, uh, in order to attain the stability uh, at the time of product formation what happened is these both of these substituents um, will uh, encourage the product or encourage the mechanism um, to make the final product in such a way that the both of these substituents will be in the opposite direction so that will be the major product um, uh, in the case of uh, steric interaction works next is ketene cycloaddition uh, this is also another kind of uh, synthetic methods to produce uh, four membered cyclic compounds and even six membered cyclic compounds um, this is also similar to the enone alkene cycloaddition. The only difference is instead of enone, here you are taking ketene and uh, treated with uh, uh, another alkene to get a cyclo compound, cyclic compound. Um, so this is a kind of reactions um, of pi systems of ketenes with unsaturated alkenes uh, to, 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 to provide uh, four membered and even uh, six membered rings. Uh, these type of reactions are uh, highly desirable in the case of um, uh, synthesizing uh, multi-substituted compounds. Um, especially uh, they got prior attention just because of their synthetic uh, utility. Um, ketene cycloadditions are uh, um, most probably like 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2 and 3 plus 2 kind of uh, cycloaddition reactions. Um, and even uh, in conjugated ketenes, they can act as a uh, four pi partners in four plus two uh, cycloadditions. So um, these type of cycloadditions found um, very good use in the case of a synthetic field. Normally, this type of uh, reactions proceeds by um, a two plus two cycloaddition mechanisms. Um, and uh, these kind of reactions are highly beneficial uh, in the case where uh, suprafacial and interfacial geometry are required um, for the process. Um, for example, these ketenes can align andrafacially with respect to the uh, alkenes. What is meant by andrafacial and suprafacial? Um, it's a kind of uh, uh, topological concept in organic chemistry, especially uh, the bond breaking and uh, bond formation uh, has happened uh, with a uh, particular uh, carbon center or pi center. So if you want to give the relation between that uh, bond breaking and making uh, mechanism about a particular sender you will use uh, these two kind of concept like a suprafacial and interfacial uh, if the um, bonding molecular orbitals of the pi sender are on the same side it will be like a suprafacial and if they are on the opposite side it will be uh, like an interfacial so in the case of these ketene cycloaddition these uh, ketenes can align interfacially with uh, the other other alkene molecule so it is highly beneficial uh, in uh, such a type of uh, reactions where um, you, you have to make a, a selection between the superficial and artificial geometry and uh, another interesting uh, uh, fact about this kind of uh, synthesis is that um, and also that is another difference with this uh, e, um, enone uh, alkene cycloaddition and ketene cycloaddition uh, these ketene cycloadditions 
the heavily substituted uh, ketene will tend to end up on a more sterically hindered phase of cyclobutanone ring here you can see that um, at the end of the reaction the product side the more bulkier or uh, the, the 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 sterically hindered groups will come on the same side of the enone so that is one major difference with uh, uh, the enone uh, ketone uh, sorry enone alkene cyclo addition and a ketene cyclo addition uh, so um, at the end of the reaction the small substituent group will be uh, pointing towards the alkene also uh, this type of reaction can give explanation uh, for the uh, reactivity difference of cis alkene and uh, trans alkene in ketene cyclo additions this is the example for uh, the reactivity of uh, the substituents uh, in the uh, ketene uh, group. Uh, here you can see the more sterically hindered groups or the bulkier substituents are just pointing or lying just near the uh, ketone group and uh, the smaller uh, substituents are pointing away from the uh, ketone group. So this is uh, um, an example for their uh, underofficial and supraofficial uh, properties. And in these reactions, um, either these ketene can dimerize or uh, two or more ketenes can react each other uh, to make the final cyclobutanone. Uh, uh, for example, the disubstituted ketenes give only 1,3 cyclobutane dione. Here you can see uh, whether these ketene, uh, two molecules of this ketene can react each other or uh, they make a dimer and the final product will be like a 1,3 um, cyclobutane dione uh, compound. So that is a major uh, compound uh, and this uh, diol will be uh, only um, a fraction like uh, less than 5% of the total product so that is just a prediction but the major product will be uh, like a 1,3 cyclobutane dione another uh, property with these ketones are they can undergo 2 plus 2 cyclo addition with the ketones and aldehyde to give beta lactones so this is an example of beta lactones um, in this case uh, usually we need a Lewis acid uh, catalysis uh, if the carbonyl compound possesses strongly electron withdrawing substituents then uh, there is no need of uh, that uh, acid catalysis but um, uh, normally we need a Lewis acid um, catalysis uh, to, to, to proceed uh, the final beta lactone uh, product.